Mabel, Mabel, Highland Suns improved quickly up into third. I'm a team boy out deeper, and it says that Jamil Carrera is back nearer the inside. It's Abel Mabel taking over from Logan's Blade. Highland Suns on the outside trying, but Abel Mabel's a length and a half clear from Highland Sun. Laters go deep, and Logan's Blade over on the inside. Abel Mabel from Highland Sun. Abel Mabel's in front from Highland Sun. Abel Mabel defeats Highland Sun. Third go deep, and fourth Logan's Blade. As is Jamil Carrera, iced out deeper. I'm a team boy. Dorset Coast at the tail. Well, she's bounced back today, Abel Mabel, number three. And Jimmy Orman Bobby notches Cavalier, up a double. Followed by San Bernardino. Now, Fair and A Star works to the outside. Starts the run on well. Then Timothy Keaton and Ledburn Lyon. Crazy Eye Fred's under pressure getting this leading pair. And Fair and A Star's going by him. Meanwhile, Sign Curve Palace House were battling it out. Slowly but surely, Fair and A Star is picking up the bit and challenging strongly. Crazy Eye Fred can't go on. Fair and A Star got to Palace House. Then Baldy Cavalier. Fair and A Star is just in front. And and will win. The Renee Star first. Beat home Palace House. Baldy Cavalier third. Had a checkered path the last 100 metres. Crazy Eye Fred. Fred gave up late. Ran fourth. Then came Sign Curve. Followed by Keaton. Then Ledburn Line. San Bernardino. And Timothy was last over the line calls upon so clever he ranged alongside hidden hail and comes after him gamely they're followed then by tringanu bondi bow zoomicon fuji fly running on fairly hidden hail the inside giving so clever a run for its money hidden hail might have so clever the favorite can't reach hidden hail he'll do it all the way hidden hail beats so clever zoomicon third far too easy fourth then Tringanu Angus the Black, followed by Fuji Flyer, Bondi Bow, and Triple Arrow out towards the tail in a good gallop, a strong gallop, 1 9 and 26. Hit and hail. They had every post a winning post, and they couldn't get him. Try to get under the Cattersby, and did so as they came into the home straight, and a gap to Ambon Boy. Shai Jin is immediately under pressure. I'd say, yeah, the white flag's gone up. Gonzo and Cruz sprinted away. Cattersby tries to come after it. Shai Jin just battling, then Spectroscope and Ambon Boy. But Cruz looks as though he's going to be back in the winner's list today. Taking a while to get there, but he's done it, and in no uncertain manner. Cruz pushed out one easily, beat Cattersby, Shai Jin or Spectroscope for the third spot, and Ambon Boy at the tail end. In 120.77. Cruz back in form today. Good to see him back, Cruz. A couple of seasons ago, he was mixing it in carnival type races. But it's been a, a long way. Kavak this. leads away. 15 rounds getting closer. McCovey Cove is about to try and come between them. And who's your dealer now? Pull to the outside. Starts to run on strongly. The sprint is on well and proper. Kavak the leader. 15 rounds out. Making a real race for on the outside. They're going stride for stride. McCovey Cove a length behind them. And Go Wanji is running on. Who's your dealer not doing enough? 15 rounds at the 100 metres. Reach the lead from Kavak. McCovey Cove and Go Wanji. And 15 rounds will win. 15 rounds first. Beat home Kavak. Back. Photo third, go on to your McCovey Cove. Then who's your dealer? Gaps to Kandau, followed by Red Monkey and Scare Campaign was last over the line. 15 rounds the winner. And certainly not a total surprise either. His past two runs at Dooman have been good. And the plan.